Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, we're kicking off a multi-part series on how we can use Wayscript for your business. Throughout the next few videos, I'll show you how to build a landing page that's connected to a form. This form will gather information from our employees and we can password protect it. Once we gather that information, we'll set up some emails to automate the tedious workflow. After that, we'll write the information to an SQL database. And finally, we'll put public information that we want all of our employees to be able to access on a Google Sheet. We'll do this all using Wayscript because it speeds up setting up the infrastructure and lets us focus on the more important topics at hand. In this first video, we'll look at how we can create a landing page and how we can connect a form to that landing page. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll go to wayscript.com. If you don't have an account, feel free to sign up. It's absolutely free. Once you have the account, we'll go to your profile page and click on create a new script. We'll call this one Wayscript for business and click create. In this first video, we want to make a landing page. We also want to connect that landing page to a form. To do this, we need to create an HTTP trigger. This will give us access to creating a web page. We'll click on it from add a trigger. From here, we have an endpoint that we can go to once we turn this on. We'll leave it off for now until we have something that we can pass to that endpoint. To send content to a user whenever they go to that URL, we need to provide that content. To do this, we'll pull in an HTML module. We'll drag it from the left and drop it into our workflow. We can edit the content in our HTML module by clicking on edit code to the left. For this example, we already have some code supplied. We can go up to GitHub and I'll be sure to post this in the description of this video. And we've stored the code in this business forms YouTube series directory. I'll take this code and copy it and paste it here. This HTML is just for a generic landing page. So if you have your own code that you would like to use here, feel free to do that. Now that we have that HTML code, let's return it as a response whenever someone goes to this URL. To do that, we can drag in HTTP response and add it here. Wayscript utilizes drag and drop programming. So whenever we have some variable, we're able to access it by just dragging it from the variables panel. We have HTML code here and we can just drag it into our response content. So what this is saying is whenever someone goes to this URL, we're supplying HTML as a variable and then we're passing it as the response content. The HTML content that we've supplied in the GitHub repository has a few places for images. However, we haven't supplied them here. So it might look a little weird at first. However, let's turn on our HTTP trigger and look at how our web page currently looks. We'll click the link and we'll go to our website. We see that it looks pretty good, but there's a few places for images. So let's go back to Wayscript and supply those. To supply images to our website, we can drag in an images module. So we'll drag it and drop it here. Once you have the images module, we can upload an image to Wayscript by going to the left of our images module and clicking on upload file. Next, we're able to select the file that we want to upload. So I have one here called a website banner and I'll upload that. Once you upload the image that you want, the default for this will be image zero. This is what we already have in our HTML code and it should show up immediately. Let's go check out our website to see what this image looks like. We'll go back to HTTP trigger and click on the link. The image is displayed and we have a pretty good start to our landing page. Now there's a few more images that we should supply to fill in these gaps. Let's go back and upload a few more images. Once you have these uploaded, we can add multiple images using the plus arrow underneath our original one. Once you have the images that you want selected, they should pop up down here in the variables panel. Now we'll click off of this and let's go back to our website. Looking at our landing page, we now see that those images have been added. So far, we know how to create a landing page and how to add images to it. Now let's connect this form that we have down here at the bottom. We'll go back to Wayscript. To connect the form, we need to add another function. To do this in Wayscript, we can click the plus to the right of our main function. This gives us a new tree that we can add things to. On this one, we want to create a form, so we'll use the form trigger. Once here, we can customize our form. So let's say, for example, this one was an order form. We could have something like product as our first question, and then have a selector for multiple options. We'll add in a few options, and we'll say something like product A, product B, C, and D. We'll add another question by clicking on add a form element. And we'll just say this one will be a text input 
it'll be quantity. Now we can turn this form trigger on by clicking on here, and this will give us a URL that we can go to view the form. We can view the form by clicking here. Our form is displayed, and we can input what product we want and the quantity. When we submit, we get a form submitted. Back on WasteCrypt, we get this information, and we can access it later on in our workflow. We won't use it in this video, but I'll show you what we can do with it in the next one. The last thing that we need in this video is to go and grab this URL of the form, and we need to put that as the button action in our HTML. So let's go and edit our HTML code. We'll scroll to the bottom, and we'll change our button action, and we'll pass in that URL. We'll click on Done Editing, and let's go back and make sure that it works. We'll visit that URL again. We'll go to the bottom and we'll click on start your order. And we see that it works and takes us to the form that we just created. Hopefully now we know how to create a landing page and create a form. We should also know how to connect the two. In the next video, we'll look at more integrations that Wayscript offers. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let us know. Until next time.